Howdy. Welcome. So on this, in this tutorial, I'm going to cover a common WordPress function called WP and Q style. And what does WP and Q style do? Essentially, it enqueues a CSS style sheet. So any CSS file that you want to add manually. So this would be in a case where the customizer, for example, with its additional CSS area is not good enough for you. You want to actually include a file. So this could be in a plugin. It could be because you're writing your own theme from scratch and you want to put this function call into functions.php. Whatever it looks like, the style sheet is not super important here, but you'll see that my color red is loading on the left. That's what that H1 rule is. Obviously, you can write tons more CSS here. I'm just writing a very simple rule that works um, to demonstrate that I have loaded it. Because if I change this to purple, save everything and reload, you'll see that this file is loading. So why is this style sheet in a random plugin on my site loading? Well, that is coming from these five lines of code. Uh, and what's happening here, the heart of this whole thing is that we're using this WP and Q style function. And WP and Q style has a bunch of options. The only ones we're using here are the first two, that quote unquote handle, which is the nickname, and then the actual source location, the full URL of the style sheet in question. To, do, to get that, we're using a different WordPress function called plugins URL. And for that, we pass in the, the location, the relative location from our current plugin, and then uh, what's called a magic constant in PHP called uh, file. And that constant basically gets WordPress to give us uh, at this file URL location, the URL, the full URL for this uh, style sheet. So if I go and I look at my source here, I can see that style.sheet.css is getting pulled in from WP content slash plugin slash scratch plugin, which is where my actual style sheet is. And that is all happening. You'll also notice that this SP underscore style sheet thing makes it through right here. Um, and that is how WordPress deals with all of this stuff and why my style sheet loads. So you might do this in a lot of different situations. The core thing to realize is you're going to tap into an action. And this is always essential. You add to an action. And this is what WordPress calls a hook. I like to think of it as you're actually leaving a note on a hook for WordPress to come fetch. And then you're telling it, call my function. And that function itself is what actually uses WP and Q style. So this code, uh, which we'll leave on the quick guide on WP Shout, will get you started. Um, or you can add this to your theme or your plugin, and hopefully some of these concepts of where and how you use WP and Q style are starting to make more sense to you after this tutorial. Cheers. If you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, thumbs up or down or both helpful um, to help us know if we're doing a good job. Thanks.